From a rooftop in Mile End to the gardens of East London, these bees are destined for who knows where. It's up to us to spot them. So here I took my bee in uh, this little cage. We call it a few minutes in the freezer makes for a chilled bee. Then it's marked up. A little bit of glue. Scientists at Queen Mary University London want to find out where London's bees go and what they feed on to get a better idea of how they can boost numbers. For some years now, Britain's bee population has been in decline. Our land has either been built on or used for agriculture. But London is a comparatively green city. We have lots of little individual gardens. So this experiment, it's been hoped, will show the potential that Londoners as individuals have to help boost the population of bees and redress the balance. Bees have memory, they make choices. They like clover, lavender and snapdragons. They're not so fond of the flowers we like, such as geraniums. So these scientists want Londoners to change their gardening habits and give bees a better choice. By labelling these bees with individual licence plates, if you wish, we hope that people will be able to form a little bond with uh, the pollinators that visit their gardens and in that way um, appreciate the need for conserving them more. The bees will probably travel about three kilometres. If you spot a bee, take a picture and send it in. It's a kind of bee bingo. You can go out there if you want to, so long as you all find your way back eventually. The experiment will last all summer. There's no way of knowing if it'll work or whether all those involved will want it to get off the ground. Emma North, BBC London News.